Hello, are you having frame rate issues with Warcraft 3? Spikes even? Especially in multiplayer games? Would you like your FPS to look more like this? Well, the trick to doing that is to play on the PTR, because that was when it was good. But on the latest Warcraft 3, it's jank for a lot of us AMD users. So I'll show you Warcraft 3 in a moment, and uh, we'll get into that. Welcome back. We are in a single player custom game for Warcraft 3, the latest patch. You can see the frame rate is roughly around the 100 ish mark. It goes much lower in multiplayer. I get freezes in multiplayer every four seconds. So, in order to fix this frame rate, this will differ for you, but you go to your task manager, you go to details, and then right click on your Warcraft 3, set affinity. That will pull up the processor affinity box where you have your cores displayed and you basically need to go through each one and work out which core is good, which core is bad. So for example, I swapped to zero there, my frame rate dropped a little bit. If I swap over to one, it's now 260-ish, give or take, with a fair bit of bounce. And you go through each of these and work out which ones are actually good for you and which ones are bad, and then you just basically keep the ones that are good for you. So I just went through them, and for me, today, I have six cores that are behaving. 1, 4, 8, 10, 11, and 14. Now, this will probably be different for you, because a couple of days ago, for me, this was 1, 2, no. 1, 2, 4, and 12 were good. Everything else was bad. So, you're going to have to go into this and work this out yourself, but as long as you stay in Warcraft 3 and fix it in the custom game single player, then it should work in multiplayer, which I'll show afterwards. So we've got 1, 4, 8, 10, 11, and 14. And my frame rate is 260 or above. And the unit is relatively responsive. It's not as good as it is on PTR because the latest patch is still jank. Sometimes he skips out, but he should be locked in place whilst I'm doing this. So you can see for the most part he's behaving and staying in that middle. Let's go into a multiplayer game and see how the frame rate does. Ah, that's much better. So we're in a multiplayer game now. My frame rate is staying above 200, whereas before it would be probably about 80 or lower. The longer the game goes on, the worse it would get. So my peons are going back and forth between the gold mine nice and smoothly. What would happen beforehand is every four seconds, almost to the letter, to the second, there would be a frame rate where it drops down about 60 or so. So if I was on 80 frame rate, it would drop down to like 20, 30, and then back up again. And it would do that every four seconds. So that's 15 times a minute. It would constantly be doing that. And if you put a command in to make a unit move somewhere or attack somewhere or build something, when that occurs, it won't do it. Very, very, very uncomfortable to play with. This is not the perfect fix, but I think it is a fix. I want to say thanks to um, Kudark, who basically came up with this. So, like I say, I'll put the video description in this video, in this video to his link. FPS drop explanation. He goes over, he has a couple of videos, and he basically talks what I was basically saying there. So, I think this will just give a bit more of a widespread um, information for those that are currently suffering, those AMD users. It doesn't affect every AMD user for whatever reason. It's very specific, it's very niche, but if you've got it, Oh boy, it's bloody annoying to deal with. And Blizzard have not addressed the problem even though they know about it. So thanks for that, Blizzard. 